Welcome back to the AkuShaper introductory tutorial series. Our second tutorial video is focused on designing rails and concaves. In our first tutorial video, we designed the outline of this example model, a six foot shortboard that has a wing in the outline, a beak nose, 50-50 rails, single to double concave, and a rolled tail on the deck. We will be using a new model to design the rails and bottom con concaves that we've designed in our example model here. By the end of this tutorial, you will have a strong understanding of the tools in the Slices tab to build rails in various deck and bottom shapes. You can find a link to download the example model in the description below if you'd like to follow along as we design the rails and deck contours. So let's start designing the rails and concaves of our surfboard. We're going to begin by opening a new model in the File New Menu. In our second tutorial, we'll be using the 6.0 shortboard again. So now that our new design is open, we can navigate to the Slices tab. The Slices tab is where you'll find cross sections of your design, which are used to change the shape of your rails and concaves. Each slice blends into the next to, to create a continuous rail flow. You can add slices to create transition points by selecting the Slices tab, adding a new slice, selecting where you'd like that slice to be placed, and clicking OK. You can also delete a slice by selecting the slice, clicking on the Slices tab, and deleting the slice. Adding slices allows you to create a new transition point in your rail line to design different rail shapes. Hold your shift key down and drag your cursor along your design to view how your slices will blend together. For this tutorial, we will be using four slices. One for our flat bottom in the nose, one for our single concave, one for our double concave, and a fourth slice to design the V coming off the tail. Let's begin with starting with our first slice in the nose. This is where we want our flat bottom to be because we want more volume where our rider's chest will be centered at when paddling. To make a change in this slice, we can grab the entire rail line and move it into a flat position. We're going to use the horizontal line feature in the show hide menu to check the depth of our concaves. To select the tool, open the show hide menu and click on show horizontal line. Now that we have our horizontal line tool open, we can see that our flat bottom is in place. Now we can move on to slice number two and begin working on our single concave. To create a single concave, let's start with a flat bottom. From here, we can pull our bottom rail point down because we want room to bring the center control point up to create the single concave. We're going to go ahead and select the point on the rail, pull it down, and use our middle control points to create the single concave. So now that our single concave is in place, we can move on to slice number three, where our double concave will be. For this slice, we will pull the rail line down again, similar to our single concave. From here, we're going to select our yellow and red control points to, and move them to create a single concave on both sides of the stringer line, aka a double concave. To achieve different bottom contours and rail shapes, control points can be added to any slice. Okay, so now that our double concave is in place, we can move on to our final slice in the tail. For our final slice, the V coming off the tail, we are simply going to raise our entire rail line up and flatten out the bottom. Okay, now we've built our bottom contours, we can start working on the shape of our rails. There are three standard control points along each of your rail slices, one representing the top deck line, one representing the apex of the rail, and one representing your bottom rail tuck. Points can be added and moved around to achieve different rail shapes. 
So let's start moving these, point, these points around to create the shape of our 50-50 rail. Just like in the outline tab, the blue and yellow control points create curves between the blue control points. That is how we change the shape of our rails. As we move control points along different apex points, we start to build out our 50-50 rail. For quick rail design, you can copy and paste rail shapes using the Import Export tools in the File menu. To do this, select the File menu and use the Import Export tools to bring in a rail shape from a different design. So at this point, we've completed the design of our rails and concaves. We should check that our board has a smooth transition from tip to tail because our slices may not be lined up properly. You can do this by using your shift key, or we can navigate to the bay and look at our rail line from the tail end of the board. We're looking for a nice smooth transition free of wobbles from nose to tail. So everything's looking pretty good at this point. We can go ahead and save our design. To do this, we're going to navigate to the File menu, click the Save As, name our board again, and click Save. So now that everything looks good with our rails and concaves and our design is saved, we can move on to the next step, designing the rocker profile. Join us in our next video tutorial as we tackle the design elements of putting a rocker profile together.